See, right here. Why did they choose Chengdu? This year, Airbus plans to invest 6 billion yuan in the construction of its first aircraft life cycle service center outside of Europe, which means that Chengdu's ability to provide maintenance services for global aircraft will be greatly enhanced. So today, I'm going to introduce to you guys a very promising job in Chengdu. Yes, that's right, maintenance service. And today is my first day as a maintenance crew member at Tianfu International Airport. After Beijing and Shanghai, Chengdu is the third city in the mainland of China to have two international airports. Within its first year of operation, Tianfu International Airport has seen more than 90,000 flights land and take off. And every takeoff and landing must be thoroughly checked by the maintenance staff. All right, this is kind of the most routine work of the day. And they have to conduct this fast inspection one hour before the departure. So one hour before the takeoff, they have to get standby to do this quick ground support. Generally, it requires three maintenance staff to release an airplane, and Huang Yuan is one of the engineers. It takes at least three to five years of work experience to do this job. All right, right now I'm on the tarmac of the airplane and we can see uh, right around me there are a lot of different types of cars. I don't know what they are exactly for. You see right there, there's a hole right there. And on the ground there's a wheel. They, so the staff member can pull the pipe out of the wheel and connect to uh, the wing of the plane. So that's how they conduct this refueling process. In addition to maintenance work, before each takeoff, dozens of staff members need to closely cooperate in advance, and many tasks are rarely seen by us. For example, do you know how a plane gets onto a runway? Alright, right now I'm actually inside this little car and we're about to uh, push this um, airplane and this airplane is about to depart. I'm so excited. This is my first time to do this. Right now the, the plane is about to take off. Uh, I don't know if I've noticed the details as a passenger. You can see the staff member, they are on the ground and they are waving their hands trying to say good goodbye to the passengers. Usually I would be inside the plane trying to wave it back. Now I'm actually on the ground uh, waving with them. Currently Chengdu Tianfu International Airport is operating 229 air routes. Nearly 100 staff of different types of work are required to maintain the daily operation of the airport. As for the maintenance staff, also known as the doctors of aircrafts, their types of work are far more complicated than what we have seen. Uh, this area where I'm right now, uh, this large area has been designated for building these giant hangars of each airline companies. This is where they're supposed to do their regular inspection and also spray the paint of the airplane on their body. Right now they are about to conduct the most complex part of the inspection work which is called the regular inspection. Uh, it takes 22 people about two days to complete the work, so it's very intensive work. In Chengdu, there are a total of 32 domestic and foreign airlines. And this airline alone has more than 400 maintenance personnel at Tianfu International Airport. Now that the engine has been shut down, so Mr. Du is trying to plug the uh, external power into the plane so the circuit of the plane can be energized. Du Dewei has been engaged in maintenance work for 16 years, 
and he's the person in charge of this regular inspection. Regular inspection is a comprehensive check of aircraft after long-term operation. The maintenance team will check or replace some parts according to regulations. The industry chain of manufacturing aerospace components spreads all over the world. But since Gartner Aerospace, the world's top manufacturer of aerospace components, has built its flagship factory in Chengdu, airlines here can actually choose products that are made in Chengdu, which greatly saves the cost of aircraft maintenance. Alright, right now I'm inside the storage for aircraft materials. As far as I know, there are millions of components and parts in a single airplane, and in this storage, there are more than 7,000 kinds of parts uh, and I'm going to help with this gentleman to collect the aviation materials for the inspection work. The mechanical structure of an aircraft is complex. To conduct a comprehensive diagnosis and treatment of an aircraft, the check of the engine, the fuselage, the wings and the cabin must all be completed by dedicated teams, requiring the collaboration of a dozen types of professional maintenance personnel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Even though they look almost the same, you have to still have to tell the difference by looking at the parts. So this kind of job is very detail-oriented. Right, right now I'm going to enter the cockpit. Not as captain, but as a maintenance crew member. Let's see what they're doing inside the cockpit. It's actually very narrow, and the cockpit inside is, is way more than I expected. I think it's just two to three square meters. There are two staff members, they are conducting this inspection work. While doing the inspection work, they are one of the staff members uh, he is reading each item of this manual book. And the other staff member is repeating to and confirm that uh, every step of the way has been checked thoroughly and carefully. So that's how they conduct this inspection work. Yang Shigang is a senior engineer of aircraft engines. His main job is to check the inside of aircraft engines and detect problems that cannot be seen with naked eyes. So he's also called an aircraft physician. Ko 它里面的每一级叶片都是我们需要我们关注的每一级它的那个长度不一样最小的话它有些发动机它最小的叶片可以达到五厘米它很小啊因为通常叶片它也很多然后转的话我们也会每一个叶片都会详细看它特别是叶
So I'm at the tarmac. I'm going to be doing a cleaning aircraft. You guys have might have seen someone wash your cars before, but have you ever seen anyone wash aircraft? Me neither. And this is going to be my first time. All right, this is going to be the aircraft I'm going to be cleaning today. This heavy bucket contains a detergent. Back in the day with the old techniques, we have to use almost 20 tons of water to clean one aircraft. But right now, the technique has been upgraded. And all it takes is just one bucket of detergent. And you can do the trick. And it's very environmental friendly and it saves a lot of resources. all right, I'm going to be starting my work right now. This is a all right, now you can see the engine is as shiny as baby skin, all because of my hard work. As one of the four major cities in China with complete aircraft research and development capabilities, Chengdu, with its improved ecosystem, has an aerospace manufacturing industry with a scale of over 80 billion yuan, becoming home to manufacturing and research bases and core product suppliers of national large aircraft, as well as a global research and production center for civil aviation industry. Ah, right now it's almost it's almost 6:30. It takes Seven of us, me not included, more than three hours to complete the task. This cleaning work is not as funny as I thought it would be. It's actually very strenuous and tedious. So kudos to those staff members. And usually uh, for the staff member at airport, they're, they will be busier at night compared to the daytime. We have done the cleaning work today. Did we finish it? No, we Alright, that's how I wrap up my first day as a maintenance crew member at Tianfu International Airport. That's truly an interesting experience for me. Every safe travel is always accompanied by a lot of work by a lot of people. So I'm very glad and honored to have this opportunity to present you guys what I saw today. If you have anything to say about aircraft or maintenance works, please leave a message and let me know. And it's Jeremy. Good night.